God bless Sometimes you. you got them. Sometimes, Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you got them. Most times you don't. You think you got some, you ain't got some. Not to mention the times you feel like a nut. But that, that's entirely different in this case. <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's really a lot. Different. I don't feel like either one of those. You can have both both mounds and almond joy are, are the spawn of hell. No. Oh, they're both vile. No. Just vile. No. Just the, the worst things ever perpetrated. Likey. The, you, nobody. First of all, even if you like Likey. even if you like almond I, joy, Likey. there may be I, maybe there's two percent of the American public can tolerate. Well, well, hold, it, hold, it, hold, hold, on. hold on. Nobody hold likes on. mounds. Nobody. Well, they like. Well, they're nobody right. likes that, that candy bar. Is that the candy How with long? the coconut in the middle? They're, they both have coconut in the middle, but Almond question. Joy has almonds also. If, if that's nobody like if, yeah, if, 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 right, if nobody oh. likes the one with well, mm -hmm. nobody. If 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 that's true, why are they still in business? That if really only two per, uh, nobody. I don't know. That defeats my idea about market economics. I, I, correct it? me if I'm wrong. I believe they've been selling those things for a really long time. It's one really fat guy, I think. It's just one giant Bam guy. Hawk. It's one guy. No, you know what? Actually, I think it's sort of like the number of dollars in circulation that the mint controls. There's there's a certain amount that have been going into Halloween bags. Since I don't know, yeah, since since, since, since the mid '60s, I think the same number of okay. fun-sized mounds at Almond Joy no. have been in circulation. No, I I, I, I got one worse no. for you. A mainstream candy worse than mounds? York peppermint. Oh, candy. I love those. Here's chocolate covered uh, sco oh, scope. No, that's it's, it's, it's that's, nasty. That's great. that way. I, this one I'll take Jason's side. You're, oh that's no, no, no. So you're gonna tell me you love the peppermint patties yep. but hate the mounds? Oh. Yup. I used to I used to come home Oy. from from soccer practice Oy. or playing baseball with my friends, or whatever, and eat an entire bag of mini York peppermint patties. It's because you're dumb, though. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that evidence that's is pretty much out dude. there. <laughs> that Seriously. evidence is out there. I used to do that. I would just smoke a cigarette and pour Hershey's <laughs> chocolate in my mouth. <laughs> like, like a menthol? Smoke a, yeah, exactly. a, a, smoke a, a Newport, a, a Newport, Newport Light and, chocolate and, milk and some chocolate syrup. I think you're onto something there. I believe he is. I think you're onto something. But I, I yeah, Open under, underground clubs where you can do that. No, we'll just we'll sell it. We'll just go to the Call it peppermint patties. All I know is that these people have been in uh, Mounds and Almond Joy... Those two have been around for a really I long time. I, I would guess more than ten years, and um, I I don't know what you're talking about, but you like butterscotch too, don't you, Terry? No, not really. See, you like everything sweet. There are very few things like that that you do right. not like. If, if you if you said which which flavor do you want of a lozenge or something, I would say butterscotch. But in terms of actually, <laughs> I running out and buying butterscotch, no. <laughs> No, that's a bit. Which flavor lozenge do you want? <laughs> or, I, or I think as you phrased it, which flavor do you want in a <laughs> lozenge? In my lozenge. I like licorice flavor. I'll go with cherry. <laughs> no, I don't. No. I do the Smith Brothers, licorice flavor Smith Brothers cough drops. But by the way, those Smith Brothers, both gay. By crack. <laughs> Long bearded and gay. By crack. No, I and we'll all be bearded and gay. <laughs> I, didn't even know they still, I didn't even know they still sold them. Get us guys, too. Absolutely. I didn't even know they still sold them. What do you say we make love? Brilliant! <laughs> I'll take my pants off. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well. Such a disgusting kid. I know. <laughs> no, what? How does that sound good, even? I think it's real coconut. Oh yeah, it's as coconut. It's like as paper mache. <laughs> it's as coconut is, as man. coconut gets. <laughs> I, I, you know what? They, they occasionally, you know, you buy all the Halloween stuff, and that's where they pop up. I believe me, if I didn't eat them, there, there, nobody would ever eat them. Because usually you give them away the one, the stuff you don't want in the bag, like the Twix. And the what tween. you oh, don't? I hate them. Oh, okay, now I this is. This is you just okay, now, now hold on a second. This is, this is like the Sunnis and the Shia here. You, you, I can I can give you, not liking York peppermint patties, but but Twix is oh. Twix is it. Oh, ugh. Twix is. I mean that's. Ugh. I'll ugh. I'll root those out of the kids' bags of candy and tell them they never got it. 
I'll, I'll steal Twix from my own children. And drop the apple with the pins in it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah the the odd popcorn ball that shows up with with the actual no. picture of a child. No, I, I I always make it my point if I'm answering the door, which you know I'm I'm really too busy to do. I, believe me, kid, you're going to get a Twix. Oh, good. You're going to get a you're going to get a Twix until they're all gone. <laughs> what, I, what's wrong? How can you not like to? I I don't like them. Never have. Do you love like peanut butter cups? Fine, love them. Fine. Do you like Kit Kat? Hate it. Okay, well, at least you're consistent. Do you like the the little Debbie peanut bars that you can sort of no. peel off in layers? No. Oh. No. Oh. oh I, I, just, a, I agree with Terry. I those, could eat a whole those box of those. Those going out instead of no, going no, in. No, no, no. I could, I could just destroy a box of those. No, none of that. I'm a traditionalist. I'm a man who goes back to candy loving as well, a small child. Wait. A traditionalist How? You you I still like the old sugar stuff, cane. Stuff that... <laughs> you you go you go to the field with candy cane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I mean, with the stuff that was there was there when I was a kid is what I still like the best. Okay, there was no Kit Kat when you were a kid. I don't remember it probably, but I don't. I never paid any attention to it. Didn't like it then. Didn't like it. Don't like it now. <laughs> but didn't like it in between. <laughs> when Terry was a kid. It was like chunks of mastodon that were brought back from the ice flow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he cook it up and uh, the woolly chocolate. <laughs> pull the pull the tusks yeah. off of it. Oh, it was good stuff. The only problem with uh, almond joy, and I like almond joys. Whenever you buy one, though, like an individual one, yeah. it's been there so long, it's all melted, and the two pieces are like melted into one, yep. and it's just, just it's like melted, and then and then back to normal, and melted, and yep, because it's sat there so long, yeah, you end up you open it, and it's a retardo one, and that every once in a while you're going to get a retarded candy. That's the bar. ones I buy. And do you I ever ask for those? And you, does it, you ever look at the bottom of a Snickers bar? And it, and it has the same series of lines. It looks like a multiple EKG readout. Are those the same on every Snickers? They're identical. And is there any significance to where the peaks and valleys are? The peaks and valleys represent what areas of the country they sell the candy in. <laughs> see, I'm the guy that was... Very, very, very technical. But see, you know I'll start believing you. Oh, seriously, because the machines that, that dump the chocolate over the like, like the chewy nougat and the peanuts and stuff, it's very, very technical. Don't forget the caramel. Yeah, the caramel. Right. So the sensors read like the EKG readout and tell you like where to ship it in, into the country because it tastes different in different parts of the country. <laughs> wow, Snickers, you moron! <laughs> that's pretty. Good. That's good. If your mouth yeah, still I... sucks, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, Maddie and I will enjoy our mounds. So I think we have what? determined uh, then the exact through this discussion the exact point of the current Lovey Smith contract negotiation and the Bulls' failure to land a marquee player at the deadline. It's actually part of the contract negotiations. Is that he wants mounds on the sideline for every game? I don't feel like a nut. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've determined absolutely nothing in that half hour, but that's fine. I mean, the last thing is the candy what? corn. Oh, I hate candy corn. Well, it's it's just hype. candy corn is awful. It's just corn oh. syrup. Oh, it's oh. Terry, you like them? No, my wife loves it. I hate but she's candy. You know what else I hate too is the the candy that old people always have. It's like the hard candy, and they're not individually wrapped, and they're in a bowl, and it's like one big piece. Then I know it's covered in dandruff and like cat hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. And grandmas always have the Brock's candies. The Brock's Royals. Yep. And they always buy like the like the maple flavored ones. <laughs> they never have like the strawberry or the good ones. It's like maple. Well, I mean they don't they don't know. Maple they, and like they have to actually anchovy sh- flavor. They have to show their ARP card to get that candy. If you look close Sorry, sir, you're too young to buy the Brock's candy. <laughs> Nobody your age. Remove your hand right. from the Brock's display, if you look sir. Look close enough on the bottom of a piece of Brock's, there's also a map to uh, where Helen is. We actually had an emailer weighing in on my contention that the Mounds Bar is the most disgusting candy ever foisted upon an unsuspecting American public, and he vehemently disagrees and nominates, it's hard to argue against this one, the Cadbury Cream Egg. They're real bad. Only my sister. The only person I actually know who, who like, the Cadbury Cream Egg. Oh, and Matt of Vatacola has just... Furtively raised his hand. Really? You. Wow. A Vaticola and the Cadbury Cream Egg. Who 